Hi guys, this is a reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements for whenever you guys happen to click on this reading. So let's get into it. So as I split the deck, we have the Star card and the Devil. Okay. So Divine Holy Spirit. What romantic love messages do you have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements for whenever they happen to watch this timeless love reading? As always, guys, take on the messages that apply to you and your particular situation. We're going to leave the rest for someone else. If it doesn't apply, let it fly, okay? Child, the Ten of Wands, the Page of Wands, the Five of Cups, the Food Card, the Queen of Cups, the Four of Pentacles. Overall energy, the Four of Cups. For some of y'all, Taurus placement, somebody is now just now realizing that you're the emperor or the empress and they're fighting to get back into your energy but they just don't know you done with them uh you're over the situation and i say that because it's like you might have had a point in time where you were really fighting for this person's energy five of pentacles five of ones and at one time they may have left you out in the cold because they had you in constant competition with other people when you were in a relationship or a situation ship with them with the five of pentacles and the five of wands here once you finally realize who you were and your value you left that behind and you focused on healing and closing out karmic cycles as the empress with the ten of wands here you learn the lessons that you need to learn from this particular person this is how they're showing up and probably how they showed up to you in the past but you i guess you kind of sort of didn't want to see them as this young energy right here. Uh, this may be this person wanting to apologize to you and make amends, but you're over it. It's like the energy that you were feeling in the past, now they're feeling it with the five of cups here. They're literally crying over spilled milk. It's like this person is learning, hey, I had an empress in, my, in the palm of my hands, or I had an emperor in the palm of my hands, and I let them slip away. Meanwhile, you're here as the Freeman. Okay? Moving forward, letting go of the past, moving forward towards your new beginning, open to new love. Okay? Yes, you are guarded for pentacles, but you're ready for stability. You're ready for your new beginning. You're ready to start anew in your own life, finding the love that you deserve. And uh, you don't have time for what you experienced before. It's like somebody might come at you or towards you with an apology, and you may or may not accept it. That's up to you, okay? Use your own discernment. But I feel like this is you right here in this Four of Cups energy. It's like you, you're you like, okay, well, you, you finally saw the light. That's how you're feeling. But you're over it, and you're moving forward to your brand new beginning. And you have the Ace of Wands right here. Can't make this stuff up, okay? You might... um have been dealing with someone who thought they were very sly or cunning or that they were getting over on you or making a fool out of you when you were dealing with them. But now it's really like the joke is on them. They had an emperor or empress in the palm of their hands. They treated you like you were less than that. And you, once you finally wised up or really bossed up and knew your worth, now it's too late. <laughs> okay then all right Taurus placements let's see here <laughs> all right divine holy spirit what additional advice or guidance do you have for Taurus sun moon rising and venus placements let's see, let's see. Romance, a lot of you guys, you're going to be, like I said, having a new beginning. 
You have the Ace of Wands behind these four cups here on the bottom of the deck, and you have the Freeman. So your dating life is about to get exciting. Enjoy the company of your special someone or potential new partners for a lot of y'all. Okay, so the Empress has many suitors, okay? Choose wisely. The Empress or the Empress, okay? Take a hat, resonates, okay? Let's see. Anything else for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements? You might have been dealing with this particular situation in the past, okay? I was going to say it, but I ain't say it. Someone may be interested in an intimate connection with no strings attached. Be prepared for all that may be in store. I feel like this is, yeah, and it's in, it try to go back in reverse. This, I feel like this is that person from the past, so that's not new. I feel like romance is in the near future with someone new, but I feel like y'all yeah, might have been dealing with someone who weren't in friends with benefits situation in the past, okay? So look, this new love, this is gonna be a season love, okay? So this is the kind of love that endured the ups and downs that come with life. With this person, you know that you can get through anything. So you're letting go of a friends with benefit thing type of deal or a particular situation where someone was using you for you know what, and you thought it was a relationship, but it really wasn't. I feel like now you're moving on to a new beginning with a new, a new romantic partner who's seasoned both in love and in life, and they're upfront about what it is that they want out of this connection, okay? You're leaving the past behind and you're moving forward, so congratulations. So that's all I have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Placements. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. If you did, get the video a thumbs up, share, subscribe, join our tribe. Hit the notification bell. Check out my book, Life is Not Dressed Rehearsal, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.